Well, joining me now is NHS doctor uh, Veena Babu and also Julia Krill, Communications Manager for the World Vapors Alliance. Right, so I, I'm going to start with you, doctor, first, because I want to know, a lot of people say these vapes are fine. I mean, I don't, I don't like any of that. I'm not convinced. But a lot of people say they're fine. They're, they're harmless. They've got nicotine in, which is, is less harmful than tobacco. And, you know, they don't do anything, any harm to people around them either. Why are they a concern if they are at all? Well, I can assure you they're not fine, <laughs> firstly. Um, you have to take it into context. If you're someone who's a heavy smoker, smoking about 15 to 20 a day for, say, 15 years, for someone like that to quit smoking, a vape might be fine because you're getting off the toxic substances with a cigarette and you're just you know, substituting it for something that has small amounts of nicotine, which can help with the addiction. And over time, we can wean you off that. But we're now talking about young children with lungs that are just kind of functioning how they should. Now, you know, giving those lungs high amounts of nicotine unnecessarily is absolutely not fine. And we're talking about things like lung collapse, pneumonias and addiction for children. So I would definitely not be advocating that these are fine for any child. Mm. But but so so but what about for those who are sort of older? So 18 years upwards, you're fine with that. But you're really looking at the the fact that it's younger people that are getting involved with this. That that's the real concern for these. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. So if say you are a heavy smoker, you know we have to understand smoking, especially if you've done it for a long period of time and a large amount. Yes, there are patches. Yes, there are tablets. There's counseling. There's hypnotherapy. But it is a real addiction and it's a problem. And we have to be non judgmental when we look at these patients and say, okay, if it helps you to vape, to get off cigarettes, and we need to think, how can we wean you off? So eventually, the end goal is to completely stop. The end goal isn't pick up a new habit, which kind of damages your lungs. And that's why I was saying, when you look at just children, it's definitely not a good thing. But if someone is a heavy smoker, for them, this might be maybe recommended initially to get off the cigarettes, but not for someone who's just looking to pick up a social hobby, as per se. Well, Julia, um, you're the communications manager for the World Vapors Alliance. Um, Surely there's some sort of um, way you, you don't allow young people to come and buy these vapes because, I mean, they've got, to, they've got to get hold of them first of all. What kind of things are in place to stop young people from getting their hands on these? Uh, yes, absolutely. So uh, the teenagers, vapes are not uh, designed for teenagers or children. They're designed to help people stop smoking. It's a harm reduction tool. It is... Um, it is not designed for children and uh, teenagers and children, they need to be protected by smart regulations and uh, by enforcing the existing ones, which are creating the uh, the age barrier uh, when you can buy vape and uh, similar sort of regulations. So vaping, uh, vaping should be uh, considered as an alternative to smoking. It's a, it's a tool to, to quit smoking. Well, very briefly, though, some of these vapes are like little wonderful flavours that attract children, you know, so you'll have bubblegum flavour and stuff like that, which is hardly adult. Would you not say that some of them are actually designed in a way to attract young people? Uh, flavours are designed in a way to uh, help smokers forget the taste of tobacco because um, tab uh, when, when smokers would be uh, vaping uh, electronic cigarettes that uh, have only tobacco flavor, they would uh, eventually relapse and go back to smoking. So uh, that is why flavor, uh, we receive uh, dozens and uh, hundreds of testimonials from people who actually man uh, tried uh, several different methods to quit smoking, including cold turkey, nicotine patches, etc. But uh, vaping was uh, exactly the tool that helped them stop smoking because they were a large availability of flavors um, to don't uh, to don't remember the taste of the uh, traditional cigarette. I suppose, in a way, you both agree that it should really be uh, older people that are doing this, but young people are being drawn to it. Julia Krull, thank you so much, and also uh, Dr. Vina Babu.